Hi there, welcome to today's video where I'll be making a miniature dart board that I'll be using for an upcoming illustration. So to start with I'm going to use a cookie cutter and a, a small round tool that I, I think I sourced from eBay. So I'm just going to start off with a, a larger black circle. And a smaller one. And a small cream coloured one too. So I'm going to go all trivial pursuit here and cut the circles into small triangular sections. So there'll be 16 of each from each circle. And I'm just going to cut a round centre out of the larger black circle, which I could have used actually for the little um, pies, but not to worry. So I'm just going to start adding the little pies or cheeses. Do you call them pies or cheeses on Trivial Pursuit? I don't know which I am actually. Maybe cheeses. So I'm just going to alternate between the colours. I'm sure you get the idea. And the last cheese seems to be the most difficult to, to fit in. So I'm just going to take a, a slight edge off there so it fits all snug. So I'm just going to go round and add some red and green clay around the, the outer circle here. You'll see that this isn't a direct interpretation of a, a dartboard. As I'll be using this in the background of an illustration, it just needs to kind of look like a dartboard really, but if you were to do this you could spend a little more time in, in making yours more of a scale model maybe. But I'm happy to have 16 sections instead of 20 on this one. I'm just trying to be as neat as I can here. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator based here in the UK. And I've recently begun to, to pay a lot more attention to my YouTube channel. so. I'm hoping to upload at least one video a week throughout 2019 and beyond. So if you're interested in my work or in polymer clay in general, by all means subscribe as it would be really nice to have you on board. So it's starting to look a lot more like a, a dartboard now. So I'm just going to go round and add some green clay and some red clay in a smaller circle. And now it's time for the bullseye. So now I've done with the clay aspect of the work, I'm going to move on to the wire that I'll be using. And this is 0.8mm, so it's really, really flexible. And to ensure that I'm getting a nice round curve, I've just used a cookie cutter um, just to, to wrap it around so you know it maintains a, a really nice curve to the wire and I'm just going to press it in slightly with my small ball tool here. And again just curving my wire with my cookie cutter and that's going to go around the outside. And just press it in lightly. And a small one for the centre. It's kind of fiddly so it kind of takes a few attempts to get it right. I think it needs to be wire really for it to look like a, a dartboard because I think even with metallic looking clay it wouldn't quite pop in the same way as the wire allows it to. So as it's really small I'm not able to reproduce numbers on my dartboard so I'm just going to give the illusion of uh, numbers just by adding tiny pieces of wire. I think it works quite well. I'll just double up on a few of them just to add like a, a little bit more visual interest really to make it look like they're kind of different to one another. And just some wire to go round the bullseye here. And I'll just add in a little attachment here so I can hang the dartboards. 
So there we go, it's all done. I'm really pleased with this considering it was a first attempt, so I don't actually think I need to make another one. So yeah, all done. And I've even added a few dart holes in there to make it look a little more genuine. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.